We are in Botswana on our last day checking out a huge herd of elephants in Chobe National Park. It's the highest concentration of elephants in the world. Oh, we get some zebras here. Guys, in the very back we get zebras. They're here? They're way over there. But look at all these elephants. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Today we're in search of uh, some zebras and leopards. We're just gonna stop where those guys are having a mud bath. We have a number of herds of elephants in Botswana here making their way to the watering hole. Look at all of them. Anytime from the age of 12 years, the boys become sexually active, okay? So that matriarch is actually chasing the boys away now. These are boys. Yeah. The, mo the mama elephant here in Botswana with our Photofly Travel Club is chasing the horny adolescent away from the other females. Beautiful little baby elephant playing around. The elephants. How old do you think this elephant is, Chris? How old do you think the elephant is? The little one. Yeah, the little guy. I love them two months. Two month old elephant is just loving the mud. Watch him just roll around in it. Here he goes. These elephants are having a little afternoon delight party. Trunking and playing in the water together. Phenomenal with our travel clubs and on our first trip to Botswana and we'll be heading to Victoria Falls in a few days. So we are in Botswana in the small town of Kasani near Chobe National Park. Our group's on safari and a wonderful family joined us this time. Uh, Christine, the um, the matriarch of the family works for UC School of Dentistry down in Southern California and the school and Christine and the family were kind enough to donate these incredible mannequins. What's that? Okay, picture outside, picture outside. So we are here and we're donating uh, some of these um, CPR mannequins for training uh, along with... Sure, yes. This is this is our wonderful chief medical officer at the uh, at the hospital here. They have 35 beds. It's a small hospital, and we have our social, the head of social work, and all different um, of the of the management here. So, really special experience, um, and uh, you know we, we try to do this as much as possible when we come to Africa going forward, and obviously with Photofly Travel Club and Destination Earth. Still going, huh? Oh, you can smell it. Oh, can you smell it? <laughs> so we are in Namibia at a village right off the border of Botswana. She's single, you can take her to America. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Who's the lucky bachelor here? I think it's Kenny. That'll be our first uh, a proposal in Photo Flight Travel Club. Okay, the normal local food we prefer here, we call it in our traditional language, we say in coco. In coco, in coco. Minus in coco, nothing is good. Because we are not used to macaroni, rice, whatever. No. We are used it to in coco. A stiff shoe uh, food that uh, made out of uh, the mine uh, like this one. You see now. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. This is our best food. So it's rice like rice. Yeah, it's right. So Maybe yeah. Rice, no? No. So this is our major food. Once you mm -hmm. eat this one, uh, you can uplift and become strong. <laughs> Minus compared to rice, macaroni, or so. No, 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 no meat. No meat. What is it? Chicken curry. Yeah, yeah, we can we can we can use chicken. 
Now I can I can marry her. No problem. It's a dried fish. Done. You see. Dried fish. Very nice. Once when you eat there, which is this one? Ah, you can dance. Can he eat up and start dancing with the new lady? Yeah. You are put here. All food. Start eating. Eating like this. You see. Sometimes you can sleep. Yes, back we never knew about bed. They were not bad. We used to lie in yeah. our blanket here. Yeah. Even now, you can still sleep here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. like yeah. Arithmetic, yeah. math. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Not ju it's That's a, a math Play textbook like for the children yeah. of the village here. Then let evening, you take this down the river there. Mm. Then you put facing where the water is coming. Then during even time, the fish will come through this one. Mm -hmm. oh. Then once when it get in there, it won't move out. Uh -huh. It will remain there until the following morning when you go and take out. Really? Yeah. So this is another method of catching fish. We are in Botswana and we're watching three female lions. Is that a Cape buffalo, Chris? Yeah. Eating a Cape buffalo and they actually get inside the cavity of the animal. It's pretty wild, you can see them. Just absolutely incredible. This is the end of our safari here in Botswana with Photofly Travel Club. Pretty good way to wrap it up. Unbelievable. You can see that lion inside, the, going in and out of the cavity of the animal. We're on our most epic safari of all time, the Photofly Travel Club. We found seven lions 20 minutes ago eating a Cape buffalo, and now five minutes up the road, we have found the elusive leopard. And I have told all of our members that, oh, it's moving, it's moving. So we are at a uh, school in Zimbabwe, uh, right near Victoria Falls, with uh, Photofly Travel Club, and we are uh, doing some donations here, some clothes and lights and uh, pens, pencils, some medical supplies, um, and this is a public school right near Vic Falls. It's actually quite a nice school. They have some new buildings here that were donated by a California family. This is an out outdoor classroom. This is a, a makeshift classroom because they have too many students here. But overall, it's a pretty good school here in Zimbabwe. There's no, there's no free schools. So every child, it costs $55 per term, which is about three months long. And um, the, the families have to pay, even for the public schools like this one, they do have to pay $55, which can be very tough for some of the, the, um, the less fortunate and the poorer communities and villages. So, um, you know, the donations uh, and everything really helps quite a bit. Can't see anything. But we're having a good time in Zimbabwe. Hi guys, so we're in Zimbabwe at Vic Falls. We're about to go on a helicopter ride for 25 minutes. Might seem short, but that's more than enough for all of us. <laughs> Photo Flight Travel Club, Vic Falls helicopter ride. Well, here some of our groups go. Photo Flight Travel Club, they're getting on the helicopter. Heading over to Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. Where will be next? Supposed to be one of the best places in the world to do a helicopter. 
ride. Any second now. Come on. Uh, up. Lift it up. Hey. I'll turn the camera on when we get in there. We'll see you from get above. Ready to take off. Here we go. Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe, right on the bridge. We're in no man's land between Zambia and uh, Zimbabwe. And a couple of our uh, guests are going to be doing the bungee jump over Vic Falls. Check it out. Look at that beautiful rainbow. You jump right into the rainbow. It's just incredible. It's constantly raining here, not because of rain clouds, but because of the Victoria Falls waterfall over there. It's so high that when the water plunges to the to the river, it just shoots up and causes constant rain. All right, here we are in Vic Falls. She's about to go. Zimbabwe. Here she goes. Oh, my God. Wow. If you have any interest, come to Africa with us. If you don't have any interest, still come to Africa with us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Kate. Happy birthday to Zimbabwe at Kulu Lodge. I'm in a hide right next to a bunch of elephants. Just incredible. Look at the babies. We are literally within 10 feet of these elephants in a safe hide. A hide is something where you have a viewing area where the animals are not threatened by you. This is right in front of the property that we stay at, two feet away from my room. Just walk right up to it and um, a very safe way to get very close to the animals which can be quite rare and very very amazing spot they have here. Look forward to uh, to taking, taking people, guests and members of the club out this way soon. Going back on, bold breath of time. Hand it down. Over, over the, the centuries. centuries. This is centuries. over centuries. It gets better every right. time we talk. I think it came from Old German, but we, we're not going to It's our Middle English. <laughs> middle English. Right? Even Zeisen's <laughs> birthday time. Uh, middle German. All right. All right. I can't hear yeah. that. Yeah. Today is a birthday. I wonder for whom. I know it's for someone who's right in this room. So look all around you for somebody who is happy and smiling. My goodness, it's you! <laughs> from all of us to you. Happy birthday, Kate. From mommy and daddy, too. We congratulate you. And pray good luck follows you. Now do it right. Happy birthday, Kate. May all of your good dreams come true. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Look at there's a colorful liquid coming from the penis. If you look at that, it's in a mast. We're not talking about elephant penis and a colorful liquid on it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs>